the Mekong Delta, a region undergoing change. Over 17 million people now live here. Intensive crop and fish farming, expanding cities, industries and an increasingly intricate transportation network constantly add to the burden on this fertile alluvial plain. Climate change strains the delta even more. It leads to a rise in sea level. Salt water from the ocean penetrates even further into the river. During floods, salt contaminates the soil and makes it infertile. The population struggles to compensate for crop failure. Mangrove forests are disappearing. They are replaced by huge fish and shrimp farms and can no longer protect the shoreline. Coasts are endangered by wind and waves. But the well-being of the Mekong is also being determined far upstream. Dams along the Mekong's 4,800 kilometres hold back the river's sand and clay. For thousands of years, the Mekong delivered this load of valuable nutrients downstream and caused the delta to continuously grow. The dams also imperil the abundance of fish in the Mekong. They no longer reach their spawning grounds and cannot reproduce. An important food source for those living near the Mekong is acutely endangered. The Mekong Delta has enormous resources, but they are not unlimited. Only their wise use can safeguard the strength of this lifeline. The Wisdom Information System can be of assistance. It brings together available information about the Mekong Delta. Maps, the results of computer models, satellite data, measurements, research findings, relevant legal documents, contact details of public authorities, a treasury of information, unavailable until now. An overview of this data helps to answer urgent questions. Where do floods threaten? Where do most people live? How good is the water quality? The Wisdom System is designed to help local authorities in Vietnam to make needed decisions. Wisdom is an interdisciplinary project. German and Vietnamese research institutions work together with small and medium-sized companies. Scientists study the Mekong Delta. We analyse the hydrology and sediment load of the Mekong Basin and simulate flooding and sedimentation processes in the Mekong Delta. We investigate how and why there are changes in water use in the Mekong Delta and the resulting social, ecological and economic consequences. We study the problem of surface water pollution in the Mekong Delta and the potential impact on the ecosystem and on people. We estimate the vulnerability of the population to hydroclimatic effects to discover where and for whom what dangers threaten. Private companies develop practical technologies and methods for solving important problems of the Mekong Delta. We're looking for environmentally friendly processes to turn sewage sludge into fertilizer. We use hydrophysical simulation models to forecast the formation of shallows and unstable riverbanks in the Mekong Delta. We produce maps derived from satellite data showing sediment content at the South Vietnamese coast and in the main tributaries of the Mekong. The Wisdom Project promotes science training and research. Vietnamese guest scientists return home as experts. Numerous respected science publications document the quality of their research. A book with major results was published in 2012. International research standards assure the quality of the data and information included in the Wisdom Information System.
The wisdom system is the door to information about the delta. Logging into the system opens this door. The Map Explorer visualizes the information available about the delta. Satellite data can be combined with current maps and knowledge about floods and waterborne substances. Local measurement data can be compared with statistics and simulations. With the Dataset Explorer, specific information can be sought and added to the Map Explorer. Thousands of datasets can be quickly searched for information limited to a particular time period, region, topic, or data type. The Contact Search, Wisdom's yellow pages, support the search for organizations, contacts, partners, and relevant authorities in the Mekong Delta. A specially developed literature search lists most of the reports, scientific articles, and reference works about the Mekong Delta and makes them available. The user can upload additional and updated information and data to the system at any time, and information and data can be downloaded from the system as well. The wisdom system is like a house, and the information it contains is the furniture. In a house, the furniture can be easily replaced by other or new pieces. Likewise, the information in the system can be easily replaced by other or new information. A house can also be modified somewhat. Similarly, the system has a firm foundation, and yet it can be adapted at any time. The wisdom project has already demonstrated that the system is expandable. In addition to information about the Mekong Delta, some initial information about the Red River Delta is now also available in the system. An expansion to include other areas bordering the Mekong is always possible. We coordinated the Wisdom Project over the last few years. Project results and the system itself were developed together with research institutions, companies and public authorities. In 2013, the system will be turned over early to the Vietnamese Environmental Ministry. This makes it possible for us to monitor the system's operation in the beginning and to make any needed adjustments. In order to assure nationwide access to the system and encourage its use, Wisdom relies on three important measures. First, the language. The Wisdom system can handle both English and Vietnamese. Second, the infrastructure. The system is operated from servers in Vietnam. And third, the servicing. Local users are introduced to the system and trained to use it. Local instructors attend the training courses. They are informed in depth about the system, which puts them in a position to give courses and perform maintenance work. All the knowledge from the Wisdom Project is stored in the information system and accessible. At present, it probably holds the most extensive collection of information about the Mekong Delta. It is now time to widen the focus from the delta alone to the entire river system and to intensify continuous applied research for the sake of the biosphere both in the delta and along the Mekong. Achieving a balance between economic development, agricultural use and environmental protection requires the participation of all countries bordering the river. <laughs>